Welcome to the Application Delivery How-To Video Series. My name is William Stoneman and today we will cover the topic of how to deploy load balancing clusters using Ansible. This playbook is designed to assist with deploying VMware Advanced Load Balancing on the VMware Cloud Foundation. This playbook will also augment implementation as prescribed in the Advanced Load Balancing for VMware Cloud Foundation solution. Before we execute the playbook and build an API cluster, let's get an understanding of what is required to successfully deploy an operation-ready AVI controller cluster using Ansible. An AVI uh, cluster can consist of one or three controller nodes, and in our case, we will need to deploy a high availability environment, so we will utilize three controller nodes. The first step in this process will be to deploy the controller appliances themselves using the provided OVA templates. When deploying, we need to specify basic information such as destination, network, storage, VM name, and IP address. To accomplish this, we will utilize the VMware Deploy OVF module. Once the controller nodes are up and online, we can start configuring the environment. We will choose a single controller as a cluster leader and start the configuration on that node. During the cluster configuration stage, the settings will be propagated to each node. The next steps are to configure a new admin password using the AVI module AVI user account, configure system configuration parameters such as DNS, NTP, SMTP and tenant settings using the previously described AVI module AVI system configuration. Then configure local or external backup configuration using AVI module AVI backup configuration. Once these system settings are configured, we can proceed with the cluster configuration. For this, we will need a cluster name, the node names and IP addresses, as well as the VIP IP address. We will use the AVI module AVI cluster. Finally, once the cluster is configured, the last step is to upload our license file using the AVI module AVI API session. These steps are very high level, but they illustrate the actions required for us to successfully deploy an AVI cluster. Now, let's set up our environment. Let's take a look at the variable input YAML file and validate that our desired configuration is set up. First, we, we provide the desired cluster VIP IP address and new admin credentials. Then we provide the IP address and name for each of the three AVI controller nodes that we will be deploying. Next, we provide the system configuration parameters like DNS, NTP, SMTP, and backup settings. Finally, we configure the vCenter related variables used to connect to the vCenter and create the new AVI controller appliances. We also specify the path of the OVF tool commandlet that we downloaded earlier and the name of the controller OVA file. Now we are ready to execute the playbook and see the cluster build in action. So let's begin and execute using the provided variables file. Let's navigate to the Ansible directory. In the playbook directory, Now let's run the playbook. And we'll run it with ver verbose mode. Okay, it is deploying the first node. As we can see in the vCenter, it is deploying from the OVF template. Let's fast forward uh, until all of the nodes are complete. The third appliance has almost completed its deployment. Let's go back to the Linux server. All right, the next step is to check the status of each of the nodes. Let's pause here until it's finished. The last node booted successfully and the system configuration parameters were set. The cluster was created and we are now waiting for the cluster to initialize. The cluster configuration is completed and the license key has been uploaded. The playbook has executed successfully. Let's log into the AVI cluster and validate the configuration. Let's navigate to Administration, Controller, and validate that all three nodes are up and active. Now let's go to Settings, 
DNS NTP and validate that they were configured correctly. Now let's go to email SMTP and validate that it's set to localhost and that our license file was uploaded. Next, let's go to system and validate that our backup configuration is set. Great, it looks like everything has completed successfully. Thank you for watching. Please check out our other exciting videos in our application delivery how-to video series.